This week on the ZTV Sports Report, we recap Akron's close upset game in Ann Arbor against the Michigan Wolverines. We take a look at how head coach Jared Embick plans to leave his stamp on University of Akron soccer. And we go outside the University of Athens Athletics and highlight the Akron Arrows. All that and much more on the ZTV Sports Report, which starts right now. Welcome to the ZTV Sports Support, your home for University of Akron Athletics. I am your host, Sartaj Ojala. We got a lot planned for you today, so let's start by taking a quick look at recent scores for our volleyball and women's soccer teams. Akron Volleyball competed in a tough battle with Gonzaga, but were unable to come up with a break as Gonzaga ran away with the game, three sets to nothing. Kassan led the Zips with 35 assists and three digs in the contest. Our women's soccer team faced Canisius in a close match and were able to get the victory as Akron was able to win on the road, 2-1. to one. Another chapter starts in the Terry Bowden era for Zips football, and after the first two weeks in the college football season, Akron found themselves at 500 with a record of 1-1. One one. Arguably one of the biggest challenges the Zips will face this season awaited them in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The number 11th ranked Michigan Wolverines hosted Akron in what many believe would be a blowout. The Zips entered as 37-point underdogs in this game. Let's take a look at what transpired at the Big House. Akron was greeted to a major intimidating atmosphere as the Michigan Stadium was packed with excitement for the Wolverines. Akron would get onto the field first and Jawaz Chisholm would start the Zips off with an impressive run. Akron would shut down the run for the Wolverines early in the game. However, it would be the Wolverines passing attack who strikes first with a touchdown pass from Gardner to Devon Funches. And after the extra point, it was 7-0 Michigan. Akron would drive down the field later in the first and run made by Broderick Alexander would set up the field goal for the Zips to bring the score 7-3. Akron would not be able to find the scoreboard for the rest of the half, but Akron's D would apply enough pressure to shut down Michigan's offense to end the first half. Going into the locker rooms, the score would stand to be 7-3 Michigan. Akron would come out knowing that they are only a touchdown away from taking the lead. Kyle Pohl would end up warming up so he can make this touchdown pass down the middle to Zach Dorozio for a touchdown. Akron would gain the lead 10 to seven. Michigan would close the third quarter with two touchdowns, but early fourth, Justin March would pick off Gardner and return it for a touchdown to bring the score closer, 17-21. Zips wouldn't stop there as Kyle Pohl down the sideline with the touchdown to Taro Goodman. Akron regains the lead, 24 to 21. However, Michigan would score to bring the score 28 to 24 to try and deflate the Zips. With mere seconds left, the Zips would try to pull off an upset at the five yard line, but Pohl would get hit and the pass would end up incomplete to end the game. Now it's important to look at this as not only a loss, but a major sign of improvement. The Zips have struggled often in the past few seasons and to be able to compete with a top 15 team in the country is monumental and shows a lot of the team's spirit and response to being called 37 point underdogs. Coach Bowden can definitely use this as motivation for his squad going into next week's match. Let's go from American football to European football, often known as soccer, and check how the Zips fared in the first home game in the new era of Jared Embix as the coach for men's soccer. Ominous clouds did not overshadow the Zips' achievement last season as the team was able to win the MAC championship and even make an NCAA soccer tournament run. However, the Zips would lose to Creighton in the third round of the tournament. Major changes occurred with Cable LaPorter leaving to join Major League Soccer and Jared Embick stepping in as the new head coach. This would not lessen the enthusiasm for Zips fans, however. Virginia Commonwealth would be the Zips' first opponent for the start of the Jared Embick's career. The Zips would battle on, however, would not be able to find the net and struggled for a majority of the game. A late score by VCU would steal the game away from the Zips and would end up being the only score for the entire game. The Zips lost this one in a heartbreaker to the final score of 1-0. We mentioned that the men's soccer team has a new coach after being coached by Caleb Porter for six years. Jared Embick has been a part of the Zips staff for years and finally gets a chance to coach one of the top teams in the nation. Six times consecutive regular season champions, five MEC tournament titles, six appearances at the NCAA tournament and winning of the national championship in 2010. This was an outstanding mark left by coach Caleb Porter. After seven fascinating seasons at the University of Akron, coach Caleb Porter headed to Major League Soccer. 
Today, the Akron Zips are coached by former assistant and recruiting coordinator Jared Ambick. Joining the staff in 2007, Jared has quickly become a prominent figure at the University of Akron Athletics, receiving the title of the National Assistant Coach of the Year in 2010. There's a lot of experience he's had and he's done very well here, so I know the expectations are high. Uh, but because I was with him as an assistant, I've understood that, so I think that's helped me and, you know, I've been able to learn a lot from him. So. Those things, I think, has helped us, you know, carry this tradition on to the good start, the style of play. As the fall season is approaching, the Akron Zips have already scored 7-3 to three points during the exhibition games in Missouri and the Invitational Tournament in South Carolina. But tougher challenges are just about to come as the conference games start on September 29th. Meanwhile, Coach Ambix speaks on how he prepares the players for the season. We play a lot of times two games a week, so, the, you know, the physical drain and the mental drains a lot, so we got to find time to allow them to regen a little bit mentally and physically and then you know the, the key is when we push them and when we start to grind them out. Long-term preparation and hard work, these seem to be the major aspects of success. Jared Ambick, being passionately devoted to his job, plans on leaving an eminent mark on the university's history. Our goal is to win a national championship, so that's what we're working towards, and anything less than that in our eyes isn't going to be good enough. Um, it's a very difficult thing to do, um, but you know, all the players we recruited were with that purpose to win it. So the talent here, the abilities here, we got to put it together and, and do the job on the field. Although former Zips coach Caleb Porter was able to reach the peak results in 2010, Jared Ambick cheerfully expresses his hopes for the brightest end of the 2013 season. So will the Zips become national champions once again? We'll see. For the ZTV Sports Report, Ksenia Berestetskaya. We have come to the end of our first segment of the ZTV Sports Report, but stay where you are. When we come back, Kalana Davis will take us through the latest standings in the Mid-American Conference. We'll be right back. 